They say every shining marriage has gone through its own test of hot and excruciating fire. Couples may overstep boundaries, lack proper communication, face emotional infidelity and every other storm. But true love is proved in times of challenges. This is the story of Felix Olwoch and Bahati Sumba, a couple that has literally gone through thick and thin but still survived. Yeah, my name is Beatrice Bahati Sumba. Um, I was born in Tanzania, raised in Kenya, yeah, and make Kenya since I was two years. Na nimesomea huku nililelewa na my grandma. My mom anamuita auntie, so ni my grandma. Nimeishi nae for all those years until when my grandpa passed. Ndio hmm. nikaenda TZ. Uh, kwenda TZ nime ndio nilijua my family sikwa nimewajua for 19 years so after kwenda huko ni kulikuwa na a certain boy tulikuwa mabeshte sana i th- nilikuwa nataka ku date nae but mama alikata juye ni spiritual anaomba sana sikujua mbona anakata so uh, one day mama alikuwa me travel uh, uyu mama mama ya kijana akanletea sweet potatoes kwa dirisha i mm. ate after hapo nikalala after kulala kuamka kwa siku feel the same mm. Nili, nilikuwa tu na cheka nataka kukimbia nje like ni kama nimechanganyikiwa so ndo brother yangu ni kama alinot jupia ya naomba akasema kuna kitu mbaya na mimi so mama akapigiwa simu akaambiwa akasema direct tu akasema ni huyo jirani so ikanisumbua like one month two month naendelea tu hivyo siku anaoga nilikuwa nikisikia rufu ya damu na feel like i want blood so nikaombewa nikaombewa one day ndio zitoke sister alikuwa anatoka bukoba kuja msoma then nilikuwa nimeshona ajali as in kuna vile in that world ya darkness mnajuaga kutakuwa na ajali mm. so nile nilikuwa nimefurahi nawaambia leo tutasherekea leo paka tutakunywa damu yani leo kumbe ni sister yangu alikuwa anakuja wow. so hapo ndio sister yangu akatoka bukoba kufika akasema alikuwa kidogo oh. have accident mbaya juu kuna mnyama alipita ali cross barabara na gari ilikuwa ina, inaenda kwa kasi sana kwa speed so aliponea hivyo ndio nikajua kumbe ilikuwa tufanye accident I kill my own sister. So nikaombewa ikaisha. So after hapo nikatoka huko nikaenda uh, mgumu Serengeti. I met uh, this man. Tukaishi naye alikuwa tu ana pesa. Kawaida wasichana vile tunapenda pesa. He was <laughs> alikuwa na pesa. Then akani employ nilikuwa kama manager hapo kwa hiyo hiyo biashara yake uh, ak- tukaanza kuishi akanipea mimba after kujua nina mimba nikamwambia akasema sio yake so mimi sikungangana naye nikatoka nikaenda nikafanya kazi ya nyumba mimba ikinisumbua ndo nikarudigi Nairobi ndio eventually we met wow wow uh, mi I'm Felix aka Philabi. Philabi is my artist name. I'm a gospel rapper, I'm a gospel minister, I'm a cancer survivor, I'm a forex trader. Yeah, I'm a graphics uh, designer also. Um, all through my life easy skills zote nimepata juu. Jiashida. Firstly nilipata cancer 
just before uh, the 207, 208 post-election violence. After the post-election violence, we became IDPs. And this was, the f was after the first operation. Mm -hmm. So all finances in Leanda. So this was a point, this was a moment of fear. Lipeleko Kenyatta, Peleko St. Mary's, so many, so many clinics. It was a very traumatic, it was a very traumatic experience. Now I'm, I'm internally displaced and I have cancer in my leg. So um, years later, Nkambaliza uh, Shule, my mom died. Uh, through all this difficulty, uh, this was in Kisumu. I was back to my hometown, which was Limuru town. So after that, I still had the septic wound from the operation where the tumor was removed from my leg. Stayed with my brother, my big bro. Um, through uh, disagreements with the wife, so I was homeless. Uh, church took me in. It was called Rehoboth. Right now it's called Flower Garden uh, Church. One day I go to the clinic. Pali situation yako imefika. Itabidi to amputate mgu wako. I was shocked. I was confused. It was a very hard time. Nakumbuka, I wished death on myself because when I to the hospital to Limuru, the way even I was crossing the road, I had lost all visible hope. I was healed through a very funny way, through, through giving. And I give sana to the voice of God and I help this family. It was a destitute family, Palikona Ishi in the slum. Because idea, and after some time, after about a year of helping them, um, the Spirit of God, it can take over. Yeah, to look at number Pamoja. We, we, Monamke, Vosia God, they come on Galesha and Yosha Migu. Kunyosha Migu, Ata Kusema, a very lengthy. Prayer, but before this, to go to Metembema churches, Zote Kutafta Uponyaji. So, after three days after washing my feet, woke up, no wound. Um, <laughs> when Nikamo Mezoya, Uneza imagine Uam Kekesho, Pate Unam Kono, you will be shocked. So, I was happy and at the same time, I was shocked. Called my dad. Hey, dad, ni me pona. Akakasirika because I was, I did think like I'm joking. This thing had affected me for about seven years. I was up for an amputation. Till sasa vile to limit, to limit kwa celebration ya startup. Nilikuwa a director in a startup company ni limeko pesa mob. So we were celebrating. Na actually, ilikuwa siku ya Westgate. Nice. The same, same day ya Westgate mm -hmm. ilifanyika. So, um, situ likuwa, it was Red Lion and ilikuwa Ruaka, actually. We were celebrating and then, uh, kuselebrate ndo naona, hey, uh, bonge la toto. Um, and the rest was history. One of your colleague, akakujia kanisalimia, alikuwa mschana. Alikuwa na minatangazi yo biashara enu. Oh, yeah. Aka trading. introduce trading. Nini nini ya kaniambia yule do director anezata ku take through. Ndo hapo ni kakujia tukawongea. Ukaniambia utanisaidia. Utanifundisha forex. Hmm. Sao kwa kili yangu nasema kama math ni ngumu. Sasa yo forex ndo ntaweza. <laughs> ya yeah, hmm. nikuwa tunasikia lugha ingine tofauti. But hivyo ndo. Na hapo ndio, nili, nili pendea tu hapo. Cause, nili kuambia, the, I think nili kuambia na mtoto yu siku tu. Ha. Yeah. Uka niambia, nisawa utanisaidia na hapo ndio nili kupendea. Mm. 
The irony of life is that only those you trust can betray you, and saddest thing is it never comes from your enemies. For Bahati, the people she could have taken a bullet for were the ones standing right behind the trigger, her cousin and her husband. So um, meeting you was an eye-opener. Had this as uh, the time that your cousin Alikuja in our house and break up here to Kanza. Sana kumkuyo kati tuli move in kwa one bedroom. We had a good life. My auntie called me from Tanzania kase my cousin anafa kuja so me English cause. Nili mchukua like sistangu mdogo. Vile tuneza kana sister yako. So nikamtafutia college akaenda akaanzaga kusoma tu alia tulianza poa na kumbuka kuna wakati nikaingia kwa room ju tulikuwa na room moja alikuwa ameka nguo zake kwa bag nile na nampangia manguo nikapata karatasi and then imeandikwa ilikuwa na tuunga unga but karatasi separate I, ilikuwa imeandikwa utafanya kila kitu ninasema yani ni kama instructions anaandikia mtu in short ilikuwa zilikuwa zil, zil charms sawa mimi kwa akili yangu nikasema maybe ni za jumi naelewa kwetu vile watu wako nikasema maybe hii nini ni anashikia boyfriend yake hizo charms eh hizo mama nini ni za boyfriend yake siku siku endelea ku, kufikiria mbali so mimi nikienda kazi the more siku zinaenda the more kuna change ile love ilikuwa inaanza kupungua na na, na wewe mm. tukaanza kukosana na ye. nikitoka yeye ndo anapika yani ana <laughs> tukipanga hata mfano tuseme nenda town nenda ku na mtu na mwambia not knowing anangoja ni toke ndo akwambi mm. akwambie tukakaa hivyo tukakaa hivyo mpaka wakati saa nikaanzaga kuomba afu nikiomba naletea watu ndo to strange naona ume nimebeba mabag nimeenda but siku anaelewa juu siku a strong in prayers that time for some reason yes there was the physical attraction yeah that uh, your cousin was attractive dio but there was a there was a certain energy that i could not explain that was drawing me close to her and every time i'm drawing close to her niko tunaona the baggage we had in the, in, the, in our relationship we started dating flattering yeah we started flattering it was just casual but it was serious before i knew it i did not want you in, in the house and I wanted her. What I mostly remember is she used whatever you were telling her as as a basis of discrediting you and our relationship. So as a poison angry and because she fed me what right now I know they are lies but then means when you quell that you are you are dating somebody else that uh, you are out there with somebody else kaudhika so ndio nilikuwa na kuchuja but nilikuwa na pia na kusubstitute i can just say it was a crash but it, it had was more than a crash it was, it was kulikuwa na an energy i could not explain mm cause na kumbuka yesu i was sick nilikuwa hiyo asthma ilikuwa inanisumbua Unaambi ukuje unichukue mnakuja naye like hata mjali <laughs> But yeah. after after that the relationship between me and your cousin I could last Yeah it could last but ilifika place singeza hold because na pata si mmeacha watoto mmewafungia mmeenda <laughs> kutembea si who does that eh? ndo nikamwa ni watoke ni waachie juu mlikuwa hata bank account misha nitoa ni nini wa wili so nikona instead of killing each other niende tu 
nilitoka nikaenda but with a lot of pain knowing that is my that's my sister Sometimes the best way to appreciate something is to be without it for a while. Felix learned his lesson the hardest way when Bahati decided to walk out of his life for five years. I was separated for about five years. Yeah. And our point of reconciliation or to be reconciled was from a point of prayer. Uh, because we had, me as a person, I had gone through a phase and clearly I had God talking to me and bringing me back to, yeah, to, my, I, to my point of healing. Nilikuja kujua like relationship was not easy, like this marriage is. Because after that, I met Oka. I started let it out. Like, yes, I can move on. Yes, I'm strong. Juni kitulisha ni faniki atena, but any time naka ju after apo kutoka nika chukua watoto nika enda kurudi nika semacha nimpate like two months. Maybe at a kwame fikiria. Ndona kuta sasa like dom nanza like nangia kwa nyumba mna mejifunika mnangalia movie I was like eh, God <laughs> Am I dreaming? Am I seeing my own am I watching a movie or it's happening? Eh? So me na mean kanyamaza ni kengia room, I packed my things in his liquids me back. I went Tarifa zinafika nyumbani, you want to get married, nataka kuleta mahari. Hmm? Ika, nini, ika affect my mom. But at the same time, wana nigombanisha, mindo nonekana mbaya. Wewe ndulendo katafta uyu kazi niyaku kamleta. You see, like, ukukua na akili. Hmm, people, waliyonge mbaya, but anyway. So at this time, I, I started just praying and telling God, supplicating and purging away all the, my past sins. Then I started on a clean slate. And um, one, of my, one of my first things I did was to make up with you and just tell you, hey, I know what I did was beyond wrong. And I live every day with the pain. And then that's when I, I, I realized that you had moved on you had um, moved on from the pain. Yes, you had a kid, uh, but the relationship, as you told me, it hadn't worked. And um, as we were sharing, it was a point of fellowship, of sharing our pains, our victories, and what we have realized that both of us, that it's only through God that we can live uh, that's when I realized you are very spiritual and I was also spiritual too. Then became friends. We used to be started talking, uh, texting and all this. Um, then I decided, okay, what do you think? Uh, yes, you, you have a kid with another person, but the person has taken the baby. Um, you have my kid also, and the first kid who will um, uh, let's do this again, but from a point of prayer. That's when we, 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 to, 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 to,
uh, tukifuata nyayo za Mungu and we do things differently from the first time we set everything on a precedence of prayer that it will work out and since then i didn't know that our mar our marriage our coming back would would even bear a prayer ministry so it is because of the wonders and the signs that god has shown us through the fellowship that we have had the reconciliation and coming back of this marriage and realizing that god doesn't intend divorce and it's a very painful thing going through divorce going through separation because god said two will become one <laughs> realize that that oneness is also in emotion is almost in the soul is also in the soul not only in the body and when this this separation there's a lot of that is separated and there's a lot that is cut yeah and people don't realize that uh, and from the point that there was no way that you could have forgiven me if you had not come back to your knees and reconciliated with God there was no way I could have forgiven you also kama sim kwa maombi one mistake people make when choosing a partner is the failure to see them as a gift and blessing from God and not the source no human can fill the void of your heart only God can okay me after ni me kuja sikuwa na thoughts at <laughs> itakuwa sweet as honey cuz kuna vitu pale nilimwachia kuna vitu hakukuwa me change na mimi kuna vitu sikuwa nime change of ndio nikuje kulikuwa <laughs> unarudi unajua ukienda vita lazima ujiandae ju vile nilirudi nilikupata na some bado characters yeah. like flattering with girls like jacking off and all that na mimi nilikuwa na na mind sio lazima i sleep with you na zaona pona i'm okay so kulikuwa na a lot of to change na aenge kuja tu hivi ah we have to fight ni spirit so ndo nilikuwa nafuatilia sana are you ikahavata to share a phone so that nione we establish trust mm. marriage sio rahisi vile watu wanafikiria na kusimamisha ndoa nilikuja kula ni mwanamke it's a woman mm. mungu aliongea like go back nimesha kupatia story to tell and usimamishe na ndoa za wengine Hmm. kuna watu wanakuhitaji hii story sio yako yeah. like right now i'm i'm at a high calling right now cuz chenye nimekuwa nikipitia mungu ndo ali allow nipitie because alijua one day you you same bahati mwenye haukuonekana you will you will tell your story and it will change so many lives mm. why hii dunia tunapenda kujicompare in a broken mirror yeah yeah unajiangalia life yako unaangalia na ya mwingine huyu mbona ameolewa na watoto na mbona mimi mi kweli nitaolewa yeah. ama huyu ameolewa na mwanaume mmoja wameza watoto wote na only one father na wewe umeenda up uki ukiolewa ukitoka kwa ndoa ni very simple as in ni inanza na wewe first love yourself yes the moment you will accept who you are your failures your weakness mm -hmm. and allow god to use them to change your situation how wengine hawataongea because yeye ndo ana authority over your life Yes. Na Bible inasema usiogope mwenye hawezi uwa chenye iko ndani yako. Yes. Anaua tu mwili. Remember, no relationship is all sunshine, but two people can share one umbrella and survive the storm. Love comes to those who still hope after disappointment, who still believe after betrayal, and those who still love after they've been hurt. <music>
name is Phila B. I'm married to Bahati Sumba. And, and this, this is, is the story, story of, of our, our life. life.